As Radovan Karadzic spoke in court in The Hague, back home in Bosnia, the mothers of Srebrenica were hanging on his every word. All these women lost loved ones in Srebrenica. Now, as they realize they'll have to wait even longer for justice, there is crushing disappointment. Zumra says that after 13 years, she still goes from grave to grave looking for the remains of her husband. She says Karadzic is playing with the court. And anyway, where's his military commander, Ratko Mladic? When will he be arrested? This is Ratko Mladic with Karadzic in the war, together blame for Srebrenica and much more. Since the war, Mladic has spent many years in Serbia, but he's always evaded arrest. This is Vukovar in Croatia. It too was the scene of bloody fighting in the early 90s, although this time between Croats and Serbs. Now, one of the Serbs who played an important role in that conflict is also wanted by the tribunal in The Hague. His name is Goran Hadzic. Here he is in uniform when he was the leader of the Serbs living in Croatia. And this was Vukovar back in 1991. It was the fiercest battle in Europe since the Second World War. This is where the Croats honor their dead, those massacred in Vukovar by Serb militiamen, now ghostly faces on the wall. Stravko Komsic, a former Croat soldier, won't let the memories fade away. He says, we who felt the crimes of Goran Hadzic on our skin won't forget him, but we fear that the world will lose interest and stop putting pressure on the Serbs to find him. This is Hadzic at home in Serbia in 2004. He escaped soon afterwards. Now a new Serbian government says it will catch him and Mladic. It is in our best interest to finish this issue as soon as possible. We cannot afford to hesitate or wait any longer. This is a huge problem for this country. It has slowed down our integration into Europe and delayed our political, economic and social reforms. In Vukovar today, there is new life amidst the ruins of the past. But here, as across all the Balkans, history is full of poisonous memories and unhealed scars. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera, Vukovar in Croatia.